everybody, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev, and it's Tuesday. Now, I am not going down to any of the stores or anything like that. Today, I'm going to take you all the way down into Front Street in Polsbo, where I'm going to attempt to find a place to park. <laughs> And then I'll get out and walk through a little bit of the town, depending on where I'm parked at. And I'm meeting my son, my, my second child. Not a child anymore, but meeting him for a, for dinner at this really cute restaurant. It's called, uh, I think it's Green, Green Light Diner, something like that. Anyway, it's all done up in kind of like the 60s, maybe 70s, something like that. I'll, I'll try to take some pictures inside. And this is our, our second time this year we're getting together because he lives like about 45 minutes away and we get together right when I get back from Yuma, which is right around Mother's Day, so that's appropriate, you know, good timing. And hurts, ooh, it's like a little bump there. And then we always try to get together right before we head back down to Yuma, which is right now. So, uh, he remembered that I said we were leaving a month early this time. So I always look forward to seeing him because, like I say, I don't get to see him like I used to. We used to do a lot of things together, he and his, uh, his wife. But that ended about, oh, six years ago in 2017. <laughs> I even know the date and everything. <laughs> So, uh, Bob is not joining me, of course, again, because he feels like I only get to see him like twice a year, so it gives us more time to talk, to chat, talk. Uh, the weather today, it's cloudy. It's been a little bit of maybe a little sprinkle, nothing to write home about, but it is a uh, time of weather time when we want to head down south. Now, I'm going to switch you to face the other way. Okay, so that you can see as we're driving down. You've seen this route many times, but like I say, this time we are going to stop. Winding down now, a week from, no, a week from yesterday, two weeks from yesterday. <laughs> so hard to keep the weeks straight. So we're leaving, so we've got just minimal time. We still have not picked up the motorhome. It's a swim, which is like an hour, hour and a half away from here. Now they say it may be ready tomorrow. So if it is, we'll be driving up there tomorrow. And I've done that video for you before so I'm not sure if I'll do much of the video on it but I told Bob I would ride with him if we can stop at the Dollar Tree there because that was one of my one of my favorite Dollar Trees I've been in in uh, Washington and there's also a Goodwill so he agreed so I'll be having videos of what I picked up there <laughs> okay now we're coming down into the uh, town part I hoping I can get a parking place in this first parking lot. I doubt it, but you never know, you know. The uh, restaurant is right here to my right on this black thing. You can see the little lights. Um, yum, yum, yum. No, doesn't look like I'm going to get any parking in here. So I'll have to go back out and around. Parking ahead of me is just for uh, people who park their boats in the dock. What's this? Is this a place here? Oh my god, oh my god, I got a place! Yahoo! <laughs> Can't believe it! <clears throat> oh, I gotta remember I've got the, the uh, towing bar in the front of the car. I gotta be careful not to hit. No higher sidewalks or things. So, 
here we are. I'm going to, of course, take you down. I'm going to put you on my little handheld. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of time to wait for Alan because he left at about, well, he said he made me about 10 till 5, and it's about 20 after now. I'll walk around towards the back, though, to give you an idea of what it looks like from the back, because you've only seen it going down the main street. Okay, I just got out of the car, and over there is what they call the Sea Discovery Center, run by the Western Washington University. And I guess that's a fun thing to go into. Uh, a lot of times they have kids, school groups go into it, but I'll walk down here by this ocean water just see a little of it. You can imagine on a nice blue sky day. That's where the boats enter, I guess. Where you could enter. <laughs> yep, that's a place to enter. And you can walk down that way. I guess uh, for a couple of years they had one of the smaller cruise ships was coming every Friday, but uh, quit coming down here and they, they go into Bremerton, right where Bob and I had our dinner the other night. And then they bus people up here who want to come see Poles Bow. Well, there's, there's the town now. That corner spot that looks all black says Chinook. They're redoing that whole building. Turn you off for a minute. I'm going to go over to the walkway area. Here's a poppy we're saying. <laughs> so we're going to cut through here. And that's where the main parking lot is, is at. So on this back side, there's all these. You know, like the restaurants. Over there is the waterfront where they have grass and they have other things going on. This building here has a couple of restaurants in it. So let's walk over this way. You can see more of the building that I just mentioned. This is the other side of the buildings. I really smell gas drunk through here. You're a horn honking. You're stopped. Got laundry room and restrooms there for people who park their boats and you know, want to do their laundry, you know, people that live on them. Now over here, like I say, this is the, the other side of Front Street. See, now that it's past five o'clock and it's past Labor Day, we don't have as many people down here, so <laughs> I was lucky to find a parking spot. A place over there, if you can see it where the the aqua umbrellas are called JJ's. That is the best fish house. They spoil it for me. Anywhere else I eat, even in London, <laughs> their fish and chips are better here. So here's the waterfront where they'll have like little activities and things going on. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, walk down here and then I'll come back up and cross 
over to in front of the stores. But you can see JJ's better now. Of course, a lot of outdoor seating. Oh, here's that. Remember a few years back, there was a guy that was killed out here by the cops. He was running from there or something. Maybe that's a monument from his family to him. This building here is another restroom, public restroom. I'm not jiggling this too much for you. There goes the horn again. <laughs> Somebody over there in the corner. Well, well, this is the uh, big gazebo where they'll have maybe bands and things like that. And then some of the times when they have their big festivals, this parking lot is not usable to park in. <laughs> you can imagine trying to find somewhere to park. So I'm going to cross through the parking lot. It's a good pizza place right here in the corner. We've been there a couple of times. If you remember when I drive through here, normally on my way to go into places, I come up and I stop at the stop sign right here. And there's a street coming from up there and one there that we all kind of merge on. And there's the cute little place with the old foam. What do you call it? <laughs> you think I'd know I grew up during that time? Oh, I'm not building a phone. I'm going to cross the street here. Okay. So you can see a different viewpoint. The stores over there with cute gifts and things. And a lot of cute window displays. Books and things in there. This is a jewelry store. Another cute store with stuff in it. Well, up here is a, it's a little like German place that my other son likes to go to. A lot of good beer and uh, German food. There's a cute one here. Crimson Cove. This window display. Yeah, if I had to drive myself into the city. And here's the famous Sloy's Bakery. Which you've all heard of. At least for me, you have. 
Look at those goodies. So good. Mm, look at this. In this store here, you can get Birkenstocks at. And this one here is called Bad Blanche, and it's a uh, an antique store. To me, they're expensive, so I don't go in it much. I'm looking for the bargains. <laughs> Back here is a little mar marina market, and that's, you know, like people who are on their boats. Stop for the day, and they need to pick up some supplies. And here's our famous Pulse Booms, Booms Chocolate. The painting somebody did on the, the building. There's another walkway you can come through. In the parking area. The Booms chocolate is really good. Now during uh, COVID they put this out here over a couple of parking spots and people it's usually loaded with people sitting out here having wine. Here's one of those places you can make your own uh, do dads. <laughs> this is where I want to take Michelle next time she comes out here. See some of the. So, it's kind of like those paint and sip or sip and paint places, you know, where you can sit and sip some wine and paint at the same time. On this alleyway is a fun Mexican restaurant. We've eaten there. It's pretty good. Oops, I'm pretty close to the plants there. <laughs> There's a tea place. Across the street back there, you can see another outdoor spot that was made. Bob and I love outdoor spots because we can uh, come have a few drinks there, though we haven't. It reminds us of those. There. Now this tree here is a beautiful tree. That we, not leaves, but beautiful flowers all over it. So we're starting here. And there's people waiting, waiting for where they're going. <laughs> We're going to go to the Green Light Diner. Look at all these hanging baskets. I've mentioned to you in one of my videos that they put these baskets in, and during the summer they just grow be beautiful. So I'm going to go sit up here and wait for Alan. And there's stairs and you go up to other like little buildings, not buildings, but little shops. Okay. Sit down here and hook in the door. So I'm gonna turn you off until I see Alan coming. I should tell you a little bit of the history of this restaurant. It start, started out being called More and More, and it was a real high-end eatery. Really good food. And then at some point, I guess they decided that it might serve better to be a you know, reminiscent of 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever it is. And, you know, it's nice. It's, it's got like an outdoor area right through there. It's right on the curve where I, when I come down the hill, 
on the main road and you, you know you come down that curve and then you see the whole main street that's where it's at well, alan should be here within 10 minutes so i'll come back on yes punk walking up is my son alan yay so <laughs> oh, here's the entrance you can see the old 45 records Two, a booth preferably. And here's the soda fountain. finished eating so we're gonna cross back across the street and go back in the parking lots so i had spaghetti and alan had a uh, french, toast. french toast he loves the breakfast there and anytime i can have spaghetti i'll go for that so we're walking down another way to go to the back parking lot that's where he's parked and then we'll cut over from there where my car's parked so here's the other one I pointed out earlier that expanded into a, a parking spaces during the big C. I'm getting so excited about So the music was all 60s, 70s, you know, in that restaurant. So I had to uh, stop the music from playing. So I'll come back on after I get back in my car. Okay, take a drink of those. Okay, we'll be right back. Well, oops, I ate too much. I got my drugs, so I'm set now for the, through October. 185 bucks. Anyway, just as I thought, I said, I need to transfer. <laughs> you got to do it from down there. I said, well, when I'm down there, they tell me I got to do it. Called you and had you transfer. He says, well, we're all hooked up the same system. <laughs> I said, well, trust me, it doesn't work. I said, even online, it doesn't work, you know, where you can transfer. Well, it's supposed to. <laughs> Oh yeah, just making it all up, you know? <laughs> okay, do I have my, yeah, I got my belt on. Okay, let's take the brake off. Did I take it off? No. <laughs> it's still not it, <laughs> adjusted to this brake, you know, the new brake th thing yet. Mm. Okay, he's coming right next to me. I don't see anybody else coming. <sighs> was. I just had to get, you know, I emailed Bob, asked him if there's anything he needed from here before we did so. Help us get down there. He's needed toothpaste and mouthwash in case he runs out. He won't. He'll, he'll have it sitting there quite a while <laughs> before he needs it, but what the heck. Okay, let's go. Hey, let's go. Okay, let's go up the hill on the home. So you need to stop and get the mail too. So I doubt it'd be anything. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Oh, it's Tuesday. This is junk day. But by junk day, I mean it's gonna have just a newspaper thing for the grocery store. And... Okay. Now the school's back in. I've gotta watch the speed limit through here because during school, it drops down to 20. And I follow the rules. It's safer that way and cheaper. <laughs> we don't get tickets or anything like that. You know. What the heck? Not hurting anybody by uh, 
doing what they suggest. Oh. Okay, now I will work on this tonight so that you'll see it tomorrow morning, Wednesday. And hopefully we'll uh, get to go pick up the motor home tomorrow. So I'll, you know, I'll be doing a recording of tomorrow's ride along with Bob and Biff. <laughs> Bob got his hair cut. I'd still have to make an appointment to get mine done. I don't really think it needs to be cut yet, but I want to get the coloring done before I go down. And I don't have to do it again until maybe even after I get home in the spring. Here we go on our street. Funny if I glanced over there in the motor homes park. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's and this is one hedge up there, and I think it's a UPS truck. Uh, oh, must be stopping at my place, but no, it's not. It's somebody's hedge. I see no package for me because the keys are already in the. Okay, let's see. Get the key. You think this is my key? I <laughs> This is old too, from back when Michelle first moved to Florida. I remember one time the doorbell rang here. Oh, got my Ipsy bag. And uh, the guy, when I opened it, said that it was a neighbor from right over here. Is this your key? <laughs> How do you guess? It's just kind of out of reach for some folks. Good, I got an Ipsy. I'll have to let. Shannon knows so that when she gets hers, we can do our Ipsy battle. Okay, so here we go. Go in the garage. It's nice without having another car over here. I can, I can just slide right in. <laughs> It's not like I have a, a hole to show you. I just my drugs and uh, Bob's toothpaste and matching <laughs> matching mouthwash and two little packs of guess M and M peanuts. Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow. You know what to do: comment, share, like, and subscribe. And I love you all. Bye.